when Matt, when we grew up, Matt was a very sick child. He wasn't supposed to be here. When alcohol was involved, you know, we we seen our mum get beaten up. Like, I don't, yeah, no words can describe what we've seen. Um, I don't know the stuff that we've seen, the domestic violence we've seen in our household. You know, you could pretty much. Uh, I'm. It's an amazing grace how I'm still kind of sane. Going through life, Matt was bullied by his own family. There's a term in Samoa called fafa fingi, which means homosexual. And he was labelled that within our family. So for me, hearing that word engraved into my head at a young age um, made me question heaps of things about myself. My sexuality, especially when um, I was sexually abused by a family member, asking all these questions and never having answers of why this happened to me or why did I, you know, why was I the one that was raped and why wasn't I protected? All these questions that I don't have answers for. Forgiveness is a, a, a letting go of your need to hold so tightly to what you're believing about that person and yourself. Because I don't want to be, you know, um, how my uncle was and all that stuff, so I've just really had to forgive him and let go. With every choice that we make like that, the world has to become a better place. Well, you can't be the same person because you've just experienced a new part of who you really are that you wouldn't have known had you not had that experience. Well, it starts with friendship. And the only way it's going to last is with friendship. So may this friendship be just like a candle that is lit with the never-ending wick and the wax that never drip. May we together remain one with the Lord himself, just like an apple and pit. And to admit, may that be the definition of our friendship. Because everything that I have is yours. You will never ever be insecure. One plus one equals one, and that's four. You, me, us is true, we must tie this knot and never untie it. Because love is love, and it never gets tired. What? places of your heart that no one else has ever been. I promise you that I do not take this lightly and that I will do my absolute best to always be gentle with the precious gift you have given me and to always guard your heart. I vow the shoulder of my soul will always be a resting place for whatever you choose to share with me because I choose you in a hundred lifetimes in a hundred worlds any version of reality, I'll find you. For better, for worse, I promise to never forget that you are my once in a lifetime and that I choose you, forsaking all others, today and forever. My soulmate, my lover, my best friend, 